So I actually have a new tile set here made by I am Irk. This is the um, it, I think it's the default tile set now in the launcher. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I got it here. It's the Ultica tile set. So they've been um, he and I think a number of other people have been working on this tile set, but mostly I am Irk, and it looks really good. I've I've heard the vehicles is like. One of the main things is making sure that it knows how to make a vehicle look like the intended vehicle. And yes, I would say that this looks a little bit like an APC with some windows in it. Like it actually does look like what it's intended to look like. Um, there are some things that there aren't fully um, like tiled, like some things like this. Or like that, you know. There's there's a couple things. There's there's some gaps here and there, but it's it's pretty dang good, to be completely honest. Um, also, there's another shout out to another one of the devs. Um, Corgan has done the new inventory system, and it's been phenomenal. Like, come check this out. I'll, I'll just show you what I mean by this. Um, so basically, uh, right here, this Molly pack. If I open it, it's got all these items in it, right? So I can take things and I can like look at like this ethanol burner and like look at what's actually there. It d it has all of your items just displayed over here, but then if you want to see where it is actually stored, you can go over here and like open the pocket, you know? You can see, oh, I have like ammo in that, you know? <laughs> it's just some loose ammo there, or not loose ammo, the ammo's in the magazines. Yeah, that's what it is. So if I like open that, you can see the the magazines and the actual amount of ammo in the two of them. So yeah, it just kind of displays all this stuff. And then here's the really cool thing, is I have my um, suit. I saw this one post. If you have a ton of stuff favorited and you keep it in there, it will never get dropped. So I've got all this stuff that's like my favorites, you know, of stuff so that I just, I'm not gonna lose that, you know. Um, and so if I do something like this, if I drop the backpack, then I still have those favorited items with me, no matter what. So I can control what I'm, I'm dropping. It's kind of like um, Project Zomboid, how you can have like a go bag, but you can have all kinds of little things like bags stored in other bags. It's it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we need to get some power, and because I have updated, because I, I think I wasn't updating because of PK's um, rebalance not being updated, so I think that now, yeah, I should be able to eat these batteries and get some power. It looks like it takes some time now. It's interesting. Okay, so I'm also going to want to probably dump some batteries in here. So, yeah, you don't have to go into the individual items to dump things out. You can just go in here. Um, blah, 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 blah. But I think we only have, like, that, really that we want to get rid of. Um, we do have also like a number of other things that we could get rid of like food and other things that I've been just kind of randomly collecting. Like we don't really need to have a plum or like toastums and stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put the mutagen in there for now. Also, I, oh yeah, I was going to fix up that helmet uh, or hood. That's what it was. And we'll, we'll do it, dive back down to Science Lab. I do want to try and get like a medical mutagen uh, book is what I'm thinking. Um, I still am trying to go for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really play with this though for like the whole episode because I am a little bit nervous about going back down into the lab without being on something I'm more familiar with. So I might go back to this. I don't know. Yeah, I think I might. Um, but we'll we'll see. I'll I'll hold hold off on doing that because I want to show off more of this this tile set for now. Okay, so we're getting our power. Uh, we could eat a little something. Sure, why don't you have some sauerkraut? And we can actually see like all these different things now and how they're they're just at the top of the list here. Easy for us. Um, apparently I'm full. Private fool and sluggish. Okay, whatever. Um, I've got my flashlight on. I just realized. 
Yeah, I also would like to get like these other CVMs installed in this, but I don't think it's like essential for us to do right now. And we are in a cold lab, so that kind of also makes that rather difficult to do in fact like if we're really being practical here. Okay, there's a little bit of storage space that we have, but not much. Um, yeah, go ahead and put those down then. I think that that's, yeah, we could probably get rid of that stuff. Where's our tailoring kit? We need our tailoring kit to fix up our, our buddy's uh, gear. I just wanted to do that before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget. Oh, did this get rid of its thread? I think it had thread in it, but whatever. Okay, well, we should have enough to fix it up, right? If we go into this, um, just because I am on a new version that I haven't really played on, I, I've, you know, I've just updated this. I'm just going to make sure, because I don't want to lose the beginning part of the episode. I don't have to re-record that. There wasn't really any real risk or anything. Um, leather patches for sure. We'll use that any day. Okay, cool. So the friend here oh there's one other thing Irk. if you're still watching i was curious about your plans on making mutations be visible because i like you've got it so it displays like the weapons like i can see the gun there i really like the art style um and i can see like okay if i drop the backpack it's not on my back anymore or if i drop my helmet you can totally see that so like that stuff's displaying so like i i know that this has like a similar kind of thing going on with this tile set as the other one but i'm not seeing my mutations or like my buddy's mutations as a minotaur you know he's like this giant dude and he just looks like another guy and i was wondering if you guys were planning on adding like visible mutations like that um let's see so harvey I want, I also, I really like the clean, how this has been cleaned up. The uh, menu for your NPCs, that's so much better. Uh, can you use that? Yes. Cool. Um, and then, actually, I think you have another item in here that I kind of want you to, to use. Um, but I think I need you to trade with me for it. So D... Um, see can i can i see it no i can't see it from here uh so let's go d b yeah i don't know if he's got his um his spot helmet on there maybe he does let's let's actually have a look at him he might actually have already equipped actually no he does he already has it on yeah he's fine okay cool why don't you go ahead back in the car here? I'm actually gonna just reload because I just realized that we came back up to the surface. I should probably do that. Um, why don't we go ahead and re reload with one of these? And is this not on? No, the recharge is on, so it should be recharging. Also, um, I, there's been a lot of things that have changed since I've last played. I've gone and uh, changed the active mods. Um, I added this so he should no longer be complaining about needs. The other ones, I'm going to have to reset their needs when I do run into them. You know? But we'll see. Oh, also, if you wanted to know how to like move things between um, your inventory, let's go ahead and just pick up like a couple of those. And I'll show you how to move this so if i have this and i want to insert an item into it i can just press i and i can say hey put put these in in there so now those should be in the molly pack so if i open that up yep there it is or if i want to keep those on my person if i wanted to say for example have a well that actually this doesn't have any pockets um, so some items that had pockets now don't, and I, I think, I don't know if they've balanced out the pocket sizes yet or not. So if I want to keep those bullets in here, I can hit I, and then I can put that on my person. Um, I don't think we need the tailoring kit, actually. So maybe I can put that here. Oh no, it fell. Okay. Never mind. Um, I think it should fit here then. We'll keep the dynamite on us just in case we need to. I'm 
I'm pretty excited though. Things this game has has had some really good changes. Let's oh, let's have a look at just some of these other tiles. I just kind of want to show it off to be completely honest. Um, we don't really need the MP3 player. Yeah, look look at these. This is really nicely done. Like this art's like totally beautiful, man. Like kudos. And look at that. That fridge is also against like the wall there. Uh, what is this? It's right. Is that that's a goo pit? Okay. So if I grab this, yeah, I can't I can't move it. I was just curious if I tried to move it, how it would affect it. Can I uh, grab that? Yes, I can. Okay, that, that done. I don't think it's going to change directionality, though. Okay. I also like how the art style, it looks good from, like, this size and that size. Like, you know, this is, like, I think what I normally play in, and it feels a little too zoomed out. But, like, this also feels, like, super zoomed out. And then this is actually kind of, like, a nice distance to view it. But this, I, I think, is what I'm, I'm going to use just to be safe. So, see what I mean? I'm like, oh, gosh, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not super familiar with what everything looks like. So, I'm afraid, like, I'm going to get hit by, like, a turret and not be prepared. Um, our temperature is falling. How many? We've got one medium, two medium batteries. And we do actually have our electric suit. I think we might use our dynamite to blow a hole in the wall somewhere as needed, you know? So there's like, what do we have here? Barracks, um, unavailable. Okay. So there's that barracks there. There's probably something down there. Okay, our battery system is off. That's, uh, I think, a good sign. Those stairs. I think those are stairs. Yeah. Pretty sure those are stairs going down. And it looks to me like we've explored this floor pretty extensively. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we have here? If I look at this computer. You can't examine that? Is it... Oh, it's busted. It's turned off. Oh, I think I must have, I must have messed that up at the end of the last episode, huh? Do I have my gun out? I do. Okay. And we could go down another level if I wanted to. Oh, what's this? What's that? It's like a, just a little safety sign or something. Okay, is that a hole in the ground? It's just like an open... No, it's an overhead light. Okay. See, that's this is where it's going to be kind of weird, is that there's some... There is some gaps in the tiles now, which kind of throw me off. But I just need to make sure I'm looking at the actual UI off to the side there to make sure I know what I'm, I'm looking at. But if I wanted to be a little bit quicker, I might, I might want to switch back to Retro Days. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with going through a little bit slower. And what do we have here? Some bleach. Okay. I mean, it is a useful th item in the Cataclysm. Don't get me wrong. Prisoner containment. Apparently there's a oh that isn't that isn't a that's an actual sound that that we're hearing over there. Okay, uh, prisoner containment could have some interesting baddies in it for us to kill, or right, see their tiles at least. Lock disabled. Oh, was the other one already unlocked? I think that yeah we can we can shoot them if we want to. And I want to. What do we have in here? I'm just curious. There's a Hulk. Okay. I thought that there might be something interesting in here. Okay, I'm just gonna close those to be honest. There's no need for us to fight the Hulk. Um I yeah, I haven't gone down this way. I'm thinking we might want to blow a hole in the wall somewhere around here. There's another barracks entrance here. Okay, um, let's see if we can unlock that. Yep. Okay, so that is unlocked. Um, Kevlar zombie. Great. <laughs> can I run and not get hit by them? I can. Okay, cool. I might want to make my way back up now. So I'm thinking. 
How's that? Yeah. This guy shouldn't last too long. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Stop smashing, yeah. This is an insane cyborg. Always got the at symbol. Like, for, like, the NPC symbol. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, he actually, like, just kind of ducked out there. That was pretty good. Um, smash the zombie before we do anything. I think we need to make our way back up just so that we don't, like, freeze to death because we're starting to get chilled. And look, we're, like, trying to run. Yeah, you can walk, but let's get up and out. If I look close, is that... What's this thing that's, like, in my lower lower corner there. Kind of confused by that. Uh, let's see. How are we doing now? Where do I need to go? feel like we're close. It's just up there. Okay. Alright, so I've got a pretty good idea of where I need to go to get out of here. Where's that wrestler? Down? Whatever. Not my problem. <laughs> I mean, it it definitely works. It's it's like a. There's some some room for some additions to the tile set, but I do really like the art style, and I think I could get used to it very easily. You know. Uh, let's reload this. Yep. And then I think that we'll just wait for our temperature to get nice and comfortable. Uh, maybe we'll get some more of those medium batteries. I don't know. They don't seem to be charging up though, do they? Is it is it just me or is it that they're not recharging up? They're all north. What if I I'm just gonna turn off the recharger and then turn it back on? Is it because they're not USPS batteries or U not USPS UPS batteries? I think it might be that they're the wrong battery type or something. Which is weird because these these have been recharging with that recharging station up to this point. Um, I'm just curious about the other batteries. Have they recharged? Where's the, the heavy battery? No, it does not look like that has recharged possibly. Hmm. I don't know if that's having issues, the recharging mechani mechanisms. Uh-oh. Huh? Well, at least I can I can consume batteries now, but maybe they're not recharging properly. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to... I'll, I could actually do some science and, and keep an eye on them. Um, we could just wait. It says it's going to be fully uh, powered in an hour. Why don't I just turn off that and that, because those are both unnecessary. And, you know, our character actually could maybe use a little music right now. Let's give him a little morale boost. Right? Maybe, um, maybe we can cook up something. We can give him a little uh, food here. Um... Sure, let's do that. Let's give him a little morale. Um, or actually, hold on. Oh, I can't just drink it? That's lame. That's, yeah. I have a shame. Okay, well, we can do that, though, right? Yeah, that, that should... Oh, we're actually quite full. What am I doing? I'm eating again when we're already pretty sluggish. Wait a little bit. I mean, this says it's, like, going to be full in an hour. I don't know if that's actually true. I feel like it's not. You know? Like, is it actually going up? Not really. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, the wire cannon's damaged. I see. Okay. Can we look at our batteries? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going up. It might It might have. I'll have to look back. If if you see it, numbers that have gone back, if you go back and compare the two, let me know. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that myself, but if you want to help me out, I would appreciate that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's try and get down there. 
We've got plenty of battery power to do this in the short term. Kind of like what I'm thinking. And then I'm also just kind of curious if I look at, I think it's right here. Our feet are really what's coldest. Oh, maybe we need some socks then. Yeah, we should probably do that, but not for now. I want to I wanna try and see if we can explore more of the lab and see if we can find something. Um, let's see. So... No, this is actually locked right here. Okay. I tried. Um, what about up here? Zombie chaser? Okay, we'll, we'll just shoot you. Why don't you come closer? There we go. Easy. And then this has been kind of busted up a little bit, it looks like. Okay. Um Yeah, let's go over to the side. This could have this could have medical mutagen, right? This is like the gym room actually. No, it's not gonna have anything special there. I kinda wanna just find the edge of the lab so that we can blow a hole in it with some dynamite, you know, if I'm completely honest. Oh look, there's some food and some water. Yeah, if we could get that to an edge of the map, then we we would be totally good. I'll trap anything. Almond milk, yeah, see, we got we got food down here. Oh, we got some stuff that we could take a crate to. Uh, what is that? Thorny Shambler. And some big slimes. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous about the big slimes because I feel like it might be from a Shogoth, but I think that we're okay for now, so... Uh, We'll just try and take out the blobs, and if we get over overwhelmed, then we'll we'll fall back. But I've got tons of bullets to take him out, as right now. Yeah, take this big blob. There we go. Okay, this is actually taking a number of bullets. <laughs> Okay, um, there we go. Maybe get this aim so we actually hit it. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's fall back just a little bit. Also, I remember someone wanted me to test out a sound pack, and I couldn't find the comment. The, I was trying to find it, um, I think yesterday or the day before, and I couldn't find it. So let me know if... If you're watching this and you're like, hey, why didn't you do the sound? I just couldn't, I couldn't find it, sorry. Um, so that looks pretty good. I don't see a Shogoth coming out of anywhere. Okay, let's smash that and let's keep on moving till we get to Chili. Then we're gonna need to, I don't know. I think try blowing a hole in the wall. You know, doesn't that sound fun? Sorry if you can hear what's going on outside there. Oh, what the... Okay, there's, um... Oh, is this one of the rooms that has, like... Yeah, this is actually gonna have some good stuff in it. It's just... Sorry about the heartbeat. Yep, here we go. Nothing... What are these right here? Centrifuges? That's a lot of centrifuges. They must have been doing a lot of science here. Okay. Uh, frozen, frozen, frozen. It's all frozen. The light disposal of a battery, which might be kind of good for us to know. Um, here's the problem is that I don't know if this is the edge of the lab, and I feel like I should start heading back up because we're getting chilly. Yeah, we should probably do that. Let's head up. Okay, there's a electric hair trimmer. I think I'm just gonna go up from here and see where it takes me. Okay. See some slime. And a way up right here. Okay. Cool. All right, oh, hey, that wasn't so bad. Okay, let's just let our, ourselves warm up and then we'll head back down. 
Maybe, maybe those batteries will have, will have been recharged. Oh, actually, no, they have. They are recharging. Good, cool. So maybe I, I just, they are recharging certain ones first and then other ones later or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend to fully understand. But we got um, our medium batteries there. I have not really, I don't think, gotten charged. Maybe they have. But uh, that definitely went up. That was at 700, I think. Pretty sure. We were at a comfortable temperature. Do we have any socks? If we have socks, then we should try wearing those. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to head back down one more time. We'll see what we can do. We're getting kind of near the end. Actually, you know, I'm going to just end this here uh, just a little bit early. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.